What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and today you're going to watch me review the latest masterpiece in this franchise. <laughs> now I'm actually a pretty, I wouldn't say big fan, but I'm a fan of the Fast and the Furious franchise. I loved the first one. I loved five, six, and seven. Didn't so much love eight. Didn't like some of the other ones in between. But the thing with this franchise is you should know what you're getting into when you buy a ticket to go see this. Uh, great effects, decent acting, terrible dialogue, and utter nonsense out the wazoo. And we have reached almost Sharknado level of nonsense in F9, the latest in the Fast and Furious franchise. This one was directed by Justin Lin, who's made some of the better movies in the franchise, I think. And as far as directing goes, I thought it was done fine. It looked great. And as far as the story goes, I was able to follow it. You know, sometimes you get a movie like this and you're just wondering what's going on half the time. I followed the plot. And, you know, the cast is good. You know, you got Vin Diesel. You've got Michelle Rodriguez. You've got Han is back from the dead. And wait a second. He died. Spoiler alert if you didn't see Furious 7. But no, he's, he's back, and he's really alive, and they explained that, and that explanation was sort of lazy, I thought, but hey, whatever, we love Han, we're glad Han's back. And this movie also introduces a new villain, Jacob Toretto, Dom Toretto's brother, played by John Cena. And I'm a fan of John Cena, you know, I watched him back in his WWE days, and I've watched as he's transitioned into an actor, he's doing the same thing. Dwayne Johnson did the same thing Dave Bautista's done recently. And for the most part, his performances have been so-so. He's 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 getting his chops, and I thought he was good in the movie as the villain. His dialogue wasn't good. His dialogue was pretty bad, actually. So was everyone else's. Like, this writing is not good <laughs> at all. And we gotta talk about the logic in this movie. Uh, a couple of the characters actually make jokes about how, are we invincible? Can we actually die? And they, th there's so many winks and nods to the audience in this movie. And that's one of the things like, hey, I think we might be invincible. It's like, no, you're human beings. You're not Superman. You're not, you're not Super Saiyan. You're not from another planet. You haven't had any scientific experiments done on you. You're regular people that are just really good with cars. So why in the heck is Vin Diesel becoming Samson and pulling an actual building down? Yeah, that happens in the movie. Vin Diesel pulls a building down with chains. He rips a column out and the whole thing falls down. Like, you can't make this stuff up. And there's some more ridiculous things that happen. And I'll get into one of them in particular here in a minute. But, yeah, there... <laughs> You know, I was on a trip recently with some friends of mine and we were talking about this movie and this franchise in general and talked about how each one is getting just more and more silly. You know, before you know it, we're going to have Fast and Furious in space. And this is a spoiler, one little spoiler. It's not much of one, but if you, for some reason, care about spoilers for Fast and Furious 9, skip ahead about 30 seconds starting now. 30 seconds, go. Anyway, they go to space in this movie. They go to space, not in a rocket, not in something from NASA. They go to space in a Pontiac, a Pontiac with a rocket engine strapped to the back of it. <laughs> is this Pontiac, is it combusted in space? No, it's fine. No, everything's fine. These people cannot die, okay? And that's a problem. That's a problem. When you have seen these characters get flipped over in cars four, five, six, seven, eight times, yes, I know this is Fast and the Furious. You've got to suspend disbelief. I get it. I get it. I really do. But the problem is when you know that your characters in this movie are going to be all right, there's no stakes involved. I never once felt like any of these characters were in danger of actually dying. And that's a problem because when that happens, hey, what's the worst that can happen? You know, there are no stakes involved. And even from premise this silly, this ridiculous, that is not good. You know, if you feel like 
hey, the good guys are safe no matter what. Why am I paying to see this movie? And again, fans of this franchise, I think will love it. Again, if you like the other movies, you'll love this one. I have no doubt. Again, it's it's fun to watch. I was entertained. I didn't hate it at all. But again, there are just some things in this movie. <laughs> There's a say, and this is not a spoiler. This is in the trailer. John Cena and Vin Diesel's fight scene, which by the way was really short. You know, you you get hyped for this kind of thing, and you'd expect it to last for more than two or three minutes. No, it's over just like that. But <laughs> this scene in the trailer where John Cena picks Vin Diesel up and just shoves him through a, his head, his back of his head hits an arch to a doorway and just busts through it. His head doesn't, it doesn't break his neck. No, it just, he just doesn't even flinch. It just goes right through it. <laughs> it's like, that would have killed him. Like he would have, he would have been dead a hundred times over by now. But again, not in Fast and Furious. So again, you, you know what you're getting into with these movies. If this is your thing, you're going to love it. If this is not your thing, if you're looking for any logic, go see something else. There is seriously more logic in an episode of Dragon Ball Z than there is in this movie. So if you know what you're getting into, go see it. If if it's not your thing, it's not your thing. But if it is your thing, I think you'll enjoy it. For me, as far as my rating goes, I on Rotten Tomatoes, if you're 60% or higher, you're considered fresh. So I'm on a 10-point scale, so that would be 6 or higher. I can't get this thing to 6. I'm sorry. Uh, there's just too much nonsense. It's For me, 5.5 out of 10. Again, I didn't hate the movie. I was entertained, but... You know, take it for what it's worth. That's my review. Uh, thank you guys again for checking out the channel. I'm going to have more reviews soon. You know, sorry I haven't had more stuff coming out, but you know, life is crazy and movies cost money. And you know, I'm going to try and see some stuff. I am going to review some movies I saw earlier in the year before I made this channel pretty soon. So they'll be late, but hey, better late than never. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.